We've got our first ever ice cream review today. It is unseasonably warm. The sun is barreling down right on my face and I'm kind of looking right into the sun. So if I am squinting and or my eyes are just in a complete shadow today, we gotta deal with it. You're here for the ice cream, you're not here for my face. Anyway, this mound here, I am trying to save this ice cream from com completely melting. I've got Nick's Swedish style light ice cream today. I've been wanting to try this for a very long time now. I finally got my hands on six different flavors. I was able to pick and choose, so I picked the ones that I think I'm gonna like the most. They have a whole bunch of flavors that I wasn't aware of. With most healthy ice cream, first of all, they're all pretty bad. Most of them, when you take them out of the freezer, they're rock hard, so you have to let them sit out. I just took these out of the freezer and they already feel soft, which is a huge plus. Enlightened and Halo Top are the two big ones, and eh, I feel like they're fine in a pinch, but I do not seek them out. So these are all light ice cream, not crazy high in protein. They are low calorie and for our purposes here, we are considering them high enough protein. For example, the cookies and cream, cookies and creme. These are all Swedish flavors, so I'll do my best to pronounce them. Cookies and creme. The whole pint is 280 calories with 16 grams of protein. I mean, for ice cream, it's really good. It's just, they're not claiming to be anything high protein. It's just the light ice cream. The only thing I know about Sweden is that they had a really good bobsled team in Cool Runnings. So that's what I know about Sweden. Hopefully adding to that list, that very short list, is that they make good light ice cream. Here's the flavors we got. We got Swedish Vanilge, Van Vanilge, v Vanilge, Swedish Vanilge, Swedish, Pistache. That one's easy. That's just pistachio. Straw bar swirl. Straw bar. Straw bar. Straw bar swirl. Swirl. One thing you should know about me is that I cannot do accents or impressions. If I had to try to do a Swedish accent right now, it would probably sound super offensive and not at all like Sweden. I'm not even going to try. But that's why I can't pronounce any of these. Peanut buttercup. Pretty self explanatory there. Swedish cookie dough. That one's not in Swedish. It just says Swedish cookie dough. So there you have it. Here's vanilla bean. I think it's just vanilla, but it has nice vanilla bean specks in it. And it is very soft, easy to scoop. Easy to scoop right out of the container. So you don't have to wait for this to thaw or microwave it like you have to do with some of the healthy ice creams. That's delicious. For just a vanilla bean, which this one's just 230 calories for the whole thing, only nine grams of protein, so it's pretty low. But a whole pint for 230 calories is awesome. That's easily the best light vanilla ice cream I've had when it comes to the healthy pints. This blows away the Halo Top and Enlightened. And I've tried both of those vanilla because I like vanilla ice cream in cones with sprinkles. I like to keep it classic, so I've tried them both. Eh, they're very chalky and not very good. This is creamy and actually tastes like vanilla ice cream. That sets a great precedent for the rest of these. I think that's neh. You don't need a bowl. Nay. Nay? Is nay Swedish? Or is that like nej? Nobody knows. This one's got strawberry around the perimeter, which is pretty nice. That's actual strawberry around the outside. Ooh, the outside there is like strawberry preserves. The ice cream in the middle, if you don't get it with the strawberry, is a very subtle strawberry flavor. And then that flavor is kind of packed into the outside. Taste-wise, I actually really like that, but that's not so much strawberry ice cream. It's just kind of vanilla ice cream with strawberry mixed into it. So if you're hoping for strawberry ice cream, that one might disappoint, although I like it. Swedish cookie dough, the only one written in English. Better than smek? I have no idea what that means. Better than smek. I don't know who smek is. But maybe I'll start taking off. I'm not that person that keeps the paper on top. 
I was just doing it for ease here, so I'll take the paper off because I know there are people out there that are probably mad at me. Here's cookies and cream. It's got a nice little thing, swirl, right? This is not cookies and cream, cookie dough. I don't see cookie dough, I see a chocolate swirl. You can't judge cookie dough without a cookie dough chunk. But I found me a cookie dough chunk. Ooh, sensitive spot, ha. Ah, key. That one's not great, surprisingly. It's got a lot of chocolate swirl in there, but for me, it's kind of dark chocolate-esque, and I am not a big dark chocolate fan. There seems to be a, a ratio problem here of a lot of the chocolate, like syrup swirl. And I dug around, and I only found one chunk of cookie dough. I don't really see any others. The chocolate sauce is kind of overpowering in that. That one would be my least favorite of the ones that I've tried. I got a warning that my camera was overheating. So I had to put my sweatshirt over the camera. I think we should be okay here. Let's plow through these then. Peanut butter cup. Ooh, that's peanut butter ice cream. Check this one out. It's peanut butter ice cream with chocolate swirl. Hmm, I'm gonna like this one. Oh, and those chunks. If you go to Trader Joe's, you can get mini peanut butter cups. And that's kind of what's in here. And this is gonna be phenomenal. That's everything you want it to be. That's peanut butter ice cream. I will say, the ice cream itself feels a little bit less creamy, like it froze a little bit harder. Peanut butter flavored ice cream. Mm. Chocolate swirls in there and peanut butter cups. That one's so good. Okay, cookies and cream leaves a little bit to be desired here. It's also not as full as the other ones, but there's not really much going on there. So we've got some pieces of cookie, like Oreo cookie types. Nothing crazy. I was kind of hoping that would be more chunkage, but I went right in and got a few. The cookie chunks inside you're not really gonna get a great look at it, but the cookie chunks are kinda soft. Like, they're almost like cookie dough. That one's only okay, too. Kinda like the cookies and cream. Not the cookies and cream, why do I keep doing that? That one's like the cookie dough. I don't know if there's anything better than pistachio gelato. There's six grams net carbs per pint. Forgot to mention that. It's got 56 carbs, but 19 grams are fiber, and then 10 grams of sugar alcohol. So where's the rest of the net carbs? 56 minus 19 minus 10 does not equal six. I have no idea. Let's get after this pistachio. That just looks so creamy and so good. That one's got actual pistachio. Whoa. I was not expecting that. Usually pistachio flavored stuff, you just get pistachio flavoring. This has real pistachios in it. My camera keeps shutting off. It's not that hot out, camera. It's like 70 degrees, but it's in the direct sun, so we have to do a quick location change. All right, maybe this is better. Whatever. Just, it keeps shutting off. Anyway, what I was trying to say was, this one is super creamy. It's not quite pistachio gelato levels. Flavor-wise, the pistachio is kind of subtle. All in all, this ice cream's by far the best light ice cream I've ever had. On the light ice cream scale, eight out of 10 overall, I'd say. Really, really good. Favorites, peanut butter cup, hands down. I actually think vanilla, just because I'm a classic guy, is my second favorite. And then I'd go pistachio, followed by strawberry swirl, and then a toss up between cookies and cream and cookie dough because they're both really similar to me. The chunks were just eh inside, not great. I'm gonna bring these back inside because they're melting and we have a quick bonus protein bar review because they also have protein bars. We'll continue this review awkwardly here in the corner of the yard because my camera does not like the sunshine. But Nick's has a chocolate 
peanut bar. This is a protein bar, a keto protein bar. For protein bar purposes, 180 calories, 15 grams of protein. That's pretty solid. It's a Swedish style snack bar. I don't know what Swedish style is. Maybe the Swedes don't eat carbs. The pictures on the website make this look very candy bar-esque. Oh, oh wow. Oh my goodness. Can you see the inside of this? Let's move this. Hold on, we're going back into the sun for a second because this is too good to not show you. This interior with the peanuts and the actual caramel, my biggest gripe with protein bars in general is that when they're caramel flavored, they just are caramel flavored and they don't have caramel. This is loaded with caramel. I did a review of Snickers protein bars. This should be a Snickers protein bar. The Snickers protein bar was trash. This is good. If you ate just that bottom layer on its own, it would just taste like a protein bar. But the caramel and the actual peanuts in it make this eat like an actual candy bar. I would eat this all day. You couldn't fool someone into thinking it's a regular candy bar. It does have that protein bar taste, but for someone like me that has eaten pretty much every protein bar known to man, this gets it done. I wouldn't go as far as to say is it's my favorite protein bar. Even though it is very similar to a candy bar taste-wise, I still like other protein bars out there more. If they have a peanut butter one though, based on the fact that the peanut butter cup ice cream was really good, a peanut butter protein bar from them would probably be really, really good. This would be somewhere between a seven and like a seven and a half out of 10. I'll go seven and a half just because I feel like seven's a boring number. Seven and a half out of 10 for these. I can imagine other flavors being really, really good. But apparently in Sweden, they know how to do light, high protein food because their protein bar is good. The light ice cream is really good. If you can get your hands on those, I got them online. They have a sore locator on their website that you can find it. They didn't sell them anywhere near me, so I got them online. But you should be able to find them in stores. Really, really impressed. That is Nick's Swedish style. I don't have them with me. Swedish style light ice cream. And <coughs> I'm gonna die. And Nick's Swedish style snack bar. Really good. I liked it. There you go.